All right, today we're gonna to build a cheap acoustic pickup. You're gonna need a piezo transducer, which you can get from Radio Shack for about a buck ninety nine. You're gonna need a, a guitar jack, get them for ninety nine cents, same place. Maybe some extra wire, but also basic soldering equipment. Let's do it. All right, so for step one, we're gonna to have to remove the piezo transducer from its case. Uh, this is the buzzer, the black thing is the case. So with a pair of pliers and maybe a little screwdriver, you can get it out in no time. All right, now we've got to solder the leads to the jack. The red is gonna be our hot and the black our ground. So the red's gonna to go to the tip, black to the ground. Once it's soldered up, we're gonna put on some poster putty and stick it to whatever we like and it'll make sound. Just plug it in. Um, you can also install it internally. Here's some instruments I've already installed it internally too. But the fun of it too is you can keep it separate and try to amplify different things that shouldn't really be amplified. Make a song out of it. All right, you can record a ton of shit with your piezo transducer. So, uh, for example, you can record a pot and pan. Uh, another example, you can record a ukulele. Uh, my ukulele already has a piezo built in, if you look at the bottom, and it's just pushed up tightly underneath the bridge. But still, with the ukulele, you can record acoustic sounds. And you can also make them sound electric. You can record a tennis racket and make it sound like a set of drums. You can even put it on your radiator and make all sorts of sounds. You can put it on cranberry juice, it makes a nice bass drum. You can record an acoustic guitar. You can make an electric guitar sound like an acoustic guitar. You can even record your voice. If you put it in front of you, it won't pick anything up. But if you put it somewhere where it vibrates, like your throat, it'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah. And there's probably all sorts of crap I haven't thought about. When you're done recording your so sounds, you can even mix them together, make a little song out of them. Till next time.